Welcome back to the channel. I think it's been about seven months since I uploaded, probably actually more. Um, I have been very busy indeed collecting away. Today we're going to be reviewing this, Thorn Gamma 6. Now I did do a cleanup of a Gamma 6 a while back, which was one of my first lanterns actually. Unlike the other example which I cleaned up, this one is a 1990s example. So um, a little bit newer, it's also very wobbly. Now it has been cleaned, it's all been cleaned up, because I, I got six lanterns that day, so I had a... Uh... Something just fell in the other room. The shower head fell off. Pretty sure this place is haunted anyway. So um, it came with a photocell installed, uh, it's got a NEMA socket up there. I've always wanted one with the NEMA socket up there, because I always wondered how on earth does that work? There is a NEMA socket installed and this bit, um, this comes off and the NEMA socket remains in place. And then this screws on like that. Only two screws, oddly, but I suppose it only needs two screws. So um, it's sort of the same construction. There's something in my glove. Get out, please. That's there. The uh, photocell is dated to July 2012. Uh, the canopy comes off. Notice the canopy on this one is much thinner than the 1980s example. So this is the 1980s canopy and this is the 1990s canopy. As you can see, quite the difference in height. So this is how the 1980s version would look and that's how the 1990s one looks. Let me put this back on. There's also now something in my eye, so brilliant. Quite clean inside, a bit of bleach and just a quick wipe over, got most of the dirt off. There is still some around the edge. I think there should be some gasket. Don't know. Maybe not, because it's got that lip that overhangs. It would have been black originally, but it's now basically silver. You can see some of the black paint there. And my other canopy is like that, as you saw, but not as bad. To open it, you just remove the cone. It's a very good cone, actually. It's only got one bit of damage there. And I think that's it. Inside, we have Similar layout to the other Gamma 6, so that deeper, deeper base. Not the deepest base you can get with these, but um, I think you could get a really deep base. This base and the remote geared base, which was basically just flat. The gear for this one, now this is 35 watt socks. Now my other Gamma 6 has the igniter up here by the lamp. In this version, there is a small bracket, which both the capacitor and igniter fix to in the base. Have not actually wired this one up and tested it yet. There's a Thorn Ballast G5333 2.4. Uh, one times 35 to 55 watt socks. Is there a date on this anywhere? There's not, but what there is, is the sticker. Thorn Gamma 6, lamp 80 or 125 watt MBF, 35 watt socks or 50, 70 or 100 watt son. C control gear, use only sun lamps marked E, which is um, elliptical. Isolate supply before servicing, made in Great Britain. I've got to put this back in. And I, I, where did I put that other... Okay, it's there. Brilliant, so that's the base put together. I will also remove the capacitor and igniter, so you can have a peek at that. Well, I won't remove the igniter because it's too tedious. And uh, once I remove this, there's your igniter, Thorn. G53311. There's your wiring instructions. So that's the igniter there. That's your ballast. Um, the capacitor would just be on the circuit um, in between the mains and the ballast. Usually is when it where it's installed. Capacitor heavily faded. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a date code off that, and I daren't scrub it because I might remove the writing that's there. I will see if I can discern anything. I can see Cambridge capacitors, six microfarad, GC2435, and then possibly a four after that. But I don't see any date codes on it, but if I do manage to discern any, I will put it on the screen now. Keep in mind, um, this is not meant to be followed as a tutorial. So uh, if you're wiring up a Gamma 6, do so at your own risk. Now, I did have a cable lying around, which I can use. Now it is going to be a bit annoying. So with the other Gamma 6, the grub screws are a bit bigger. So I could put the cable through the grub screw and up. 
it's now installed on a concrete column, so I don't need to do that. This one, the grub screws are bloody tiny. Look at that. So I'm going to have to put the cable through the bottom and hold it so it doesn't fall over. First of all, though, I've got to change that wire connector because that is crispy. Yes, the last three of the right size. What I don't have is my precision screwdriver, which um, I don't know where it's gone. It's been missing for a month. I know it's in here somewhere. It's not under the sofa. I've checked. It could be under one of the shelves. It could even be behind one of the lanterns. I've obviously put it somewhere, forgot where it is, and now it's just gone forever. Right, so what I need to do is put this capacitor back. Yeah, we'll put that back. That's not really in the way of anything. Did you hear that crack? Listen to it. Listen to the plastic just disintegrating as my screwdriver barely scrapes it. Also, side note, this screwdriver is literally the most annoying thing to work with. I think it cost about a quid and I got it from Spa or Poundland or some shop like that as a quick temporary replacement for my um, precision screwdriver, which incidentally now is coming in handy because I'd lost my other precision screwdriver before. Still haven't found that one either. And then I bought the new one and I've lost that. This was at the bottom of my tools drawer and I thought it would work okay because I have the right bit for it. It's free. I take this off. Well, you can see where they've already broken away there. They're manky, they're not great. So if I put a screwdriver in that, it's actually a bit small, but yeah, look. That actually hit me in the face. Let's get rid of this. And I've got a brand new one to put in. I have given these wires a check over. Do make sure if you're plugging in lanterns that you do give the wires a check over because, um, fun story. I bought a new old stock Philips Stella Square yesterday. Well, I didn't buy it yesterday, but it arrived yesterday. Brand new, never been removed from the box. I open it up, two of the cell socket wires have snapped, live in and li uh, oh sorry, um, neutral and live out, and then live in was stuck in there because you couldn't undo the, the screw because it had snapped inside. Now I know the Stella's not a particularly brilliant lantern, I figured I should buy it new so the LEDs would work. I heard arcing, so I immediately switched it off, the LEDs were going dim, and I heard arcing, so I thought, have I plugged the wires in wrong or something? No, no I didn't, this brand new lantern, the wires had broken. So I've now bypassed the cell socket on that one so it can't do the same thing again. So when you're dealing with something from the 90s, you'd expect it to be worse. No, not a broken wire on this thing. They're a bit grubby here and there, but they don't look to have been affected by the heat. There's no splits in them. There's nowhere they can short. Don't roll off the side. Here is the socks lamp I'm gonna use. This one's actually from my first um, Simplex Aries. 35 watt socks lantern. Let's put the cover on. And let's put this on. That's a bit rough. And let's put this on. Now we switch it on. The cell switched it off. Can we just do this? Beautiful. Let's see if it turns itself off with its own light. Will it trick itself into turning itself off? Granted, outside you won't have that issue because obviously there's nothing for the light to reflect off of, but in here you've got the walls and the ceiling. But it doesn't look like it's switching itself off, so 
Oh no, there we go, it did trick itself. So that was the Gamma 6, sort of a teardown style video um, with a warm up in there as well. That was the first time I'd powered it up, so I didn't actually know it worked.